International Truck of the Year winners from 1977 to 2000. Watch until the end and see which truck brand has won Truck of the Year the most times. 1977, set in Atkinson 200. Set in Atkinson Vehicles Limited was formed in 1970, based in Manchester, England, and became a part of Iveco in 1990. The 200 was limited to 16 tons and had an international D358 engine. This is a naturally aspirated inline 6 of 5.8 liters, which produces 134 brake horsepower. The truck had a total weight of 4.46 tons and a top speed of 95 km per hour. It was possible to choose a warranty of up to 80,000 km or 12 months to keep track of costs. 1978 MAN 280 The 1970s were an eventful decade for MAN. Following its acquisition of Boosing, MAN entered the light truck business in cooperation with Savium, a manufacturer of commercial vehicles based in France, and later with Volkswagen. One of the reasons for the award was that the MAN 19.280, with its 280 horsepower, could do anything that other more powerful trucks could do, and they even managed to do it more economically thanks to its fuel-saving engine. The secret was its engine that turned over relatively slowly and that boasted high torque increases and a large overall gear ratio. 1979 Volvo F7 The F7 was a global truck in the true meaning of the word. It soon became a bestseller in nearly every part of Europe and was also a bestseller in distant markets like Australia and the United States. The main feature of the F7 was its total adaptability to nearly every possible transport task. The basic use of the F7 in many countries was as a strong distribution truck. Thanks to the turbocharged engine with intercooler and the efficient 8 or 16 speed gearboxes, long distance transport was also a popular area of use, where the F7 with its low chassis weight had an extremely high payload capacity. 1980 MAN 321 MAN was awarded the accolade for a second time for its 19.321 from the now legendary F8 cab series. This truck had been given a facelift in 1979 and featured new plastic coated bumpers that came with two step recesses and larger headlights. Roof spoilers were also fitted to improve aerodynamics and reduce fuel consumption. The 321 was delivered with the MAN D25 engine and was available in a 280 or 320 horsepower, six cylinder inline version with combined turbocharging and intercooling. The F8 was a big part of MAN's future success. 1981 Leland T45 Leland Motors was a British vehicle manufacturer of lorries, buses, and trolleybuses, who merged with DAF trucks in 1987 and later in 1998 was acquired by the US truck manufacturer Packard. At launch, the Leland T45 only had one engine option available, the Leland TL12 with 280 brake horsepower, and a gearbox from Spicer made sure that drivers were familiar from their previous trucks. Production tooling was kept to a minimum by using as many common parts as possible. Only 120 parts were required regardless of model over the whole of the T45 range, which spanned from 10 to 38 tons. 1982 Ford Cargo The Ford Cargo was manufactured by Ford since 1981 and was sold as an Iveco Ford in Europe until 1991, which later, with some updates, became the Iveco Eurocargo. The truck was ranging from 7.49 to 38 tons and was powered by the Cummins L10, Perkins, or air-cooled Deutz diesel engine depending on size. 1983 Renault G260-290 The Renault G260 is a French truck that was first introduced to the public in the late 1970s. Renault G-Series trucks were developed during the fuel crisis, where low operating costs were one of the most important standards for assessing cars, especially trucks. To meet the needs of the market, the engine with the 260 horsepower turbocharger was used as the driving force. It was characterized by high dynamics at work, but also low fuel consumption and high torque. In addition, the weight of the entire vehicle was reduced to only 6 tons. 1984 Volvo F10 Introduced by Volvo were the F10 of 1977. This revolutionary truck created a completely new standard for ergonomics and safety. The cab was mounted to the chassis with spiral suspension, creating a much softer environment for the driver, thereby eliminating much of the back pains and other health risks which had up to then been harmful for driver health in the long run. 
The Volvo F-Series is one of the most successful truck series and was a big part of Volvo's future success. 1985 Mercedes-Benz LN The Mercedes-Benz LN series is the predecessor to the Mercedes Actos which was introduced in 1998. When it was introduced, it covered the tonnages of 7, 8, 9, 11 and 13 tons total weight. The power range of the diesel engines ranged from 90 to 136 and 170 to 201 horsepower. The newly developed engines were inline engines with 4 and 6 cylinders and direct injection. The new driver's cab, which was now tiltable even in the smallest truck class, was striking. 1986 Volvo FL The Volvo FL has been built since the summer of 1985 in a variety of different models of different weight ratings. The basic design incorporated a low cab floor level for easy entry and exit, large windows for good vision, and massive interior space. The FL series included the medium-duty trucks, FL4, FL6, and the larger FL7 and FL10 models, which became very popular in a large number of countries. 1987 MAN F90 The MAN F90, which was introduced in 1986, stood for leading-edge technology in heavy trucks and was available of 18 to 48 tons. The engines used were 5-cylinder, 6-cylinder, and 10-cylinder diesel engines, with exhaust gas turbocharging and intercooling. They covered an output range between 270 and 500 horsepower. The MAN F90 was MAN's first model to feature a completely tilting cab, while the windscreen came with an inclination of 10 degrees for improved aerodynamics. 1988 DAF 95 DAF's 95 series was launched in 1987 and quickly gained the coveted Truck of the Year award. The 95 featured an all-new cab developed jointly with eNASA, which was an engine manufacturer of Spain, a revised version of the 11.6-liter ATI engine rated at 310, 350, and 380 brake horsepower, and 16-speed ZF gearbox. A full range of axle configurations were offered to suit every operating requirement. 1989 Scania 3 Series The 3 Series came in a range of different engine sizes and horsepower from 9.0 liter 230 horsepower all the way up to a 14 liter V8 500 horsepower engine. One of the reasons for the 3 Series big success was the Scania R143 with a legendary V8 engine with 500 horsepower. The most notable changes were a redesigned bumper and front fascia incorporating a lower drag grille design and full headlight bezels and an improved cab side wind deflector design. 1990 Mercedes-Benz SK The Mercedes-Benz SK was introduced from 1989 until 1998 and was the heavy class. New improvements in driver comfort were added for a much more comfortable ride than its predecessor. The Mercedes-Benz SK were available with the ever-popular OM44 X-Series engines with their robust cast iron blocks, much like their predecessor engines, were specifically very popular in harsh, hot desert climates due to their large displacements and low operating temperatures. 1991 Renault AE Magnum the Magnum was a heavy truck available in semi and rigid configurations. Both configurations could be bought with a 6x2 or 4x2 drivetrain. The Magnum was the first modern truck with a completely flat cab floor and for having a mechanically separate cab and engine compartment, resulting in increased comfort inside the cab. Engines at launch were the AE380 with a 6-cylinder turbo diesel offering 374 horsepower and the AE500 with a 503 horsepower Mac V8 diesel. 1992 Iveco Eurocargo The first generation Eurocargo was designed by Giorgetto Giugiaro. The maximum gross weight was 6 to 15 tons and for models produced in Langley in Great Britain up to 17 tons. Both 4x2 and 4x4 were available. The engine was with 4-cylinder and up to 136 horsepower, and the bigger 6-cylinder version with up to 266 horsepower. In addition, four types of cabs were available, and was a very popular truck from the beginning. 1993 Iveco Eurotech In 1992, the Eurotech range made its debut, the recipient of considerable praise both in Italy and in Europe in general. 
Presented as a replacement for the TurboTech, it brought Iveco the International Truck of the Year Award in 1993 for the second time in a row, which was the first time the award was given to the same manufacturer for two consecutive years. It was initially presented with six different engines, three different configurations, a wide choice of transmissions, and three different cabs. 1994 – Volvo FH The Volvo FH series was originally introduced in late 1993 and ended up becoming one of the most successful truck series ever, having sold more than 400,000 units worldwide till this day. This first generation of the FH series consisted of two models, the FH12 and the FH16. The new FH cab was more aerodynamically efficient, with improved ergonomics and seating while reducing the overall weight of the cab by almost 30%. The engines were with either 12 or 16 liter engines and combined with the new cabs really did improve the performance and minimize fuel consumption. 1995 MAN F2000 no truck was able to convince the jury at the 1995 International Truck of the Year Award more than the MAN F2000. This was the range that followed the heavy F90 models in 1994. The engines were available with 340, 400 or 460 horsepower and were fulfilling the Euro 2 emissions requirements a full two years before they came into effect. The F2000 was available with four cab versions, including one with an innovative high roof. 1996 – Scania 4 Series In 1995, the 4 Series was introduced. The 4 Series changed the well-known Scania front look from quite square and lined to new round and curved shapes. The 4 Series consisted of the R124, R144 and the R164. The 4 Series came with 9 to 16 liter engines ranges from 220 to 580 horsepower. This series helped to push Scania in the direction of the premium status the brand has today, especially the V8 engines which took the world by storm. 1997 – Mercedes-Benz Actros The first Mercedes-Benz Actros generation was introduced in 1996 for the 100th anniversary of the truck invented by Gottlieb Daimler in 1896, marked the start of a series that remains one of the leaders in its segment to this day. The new Actros generation was a replacement for the SK model, available in weights starting at 18 tons and was powered by the OM500 V6 and V8 diesel engine with turbocharger and intercooler. 1998 DAF 95XF The DAF 95XF was introduced in 1997 as the successor to the DAF 95 and won the truck of the year in 1998. The model was based on the DAF 95.500, a special version of the 95, this enabled lower development costs. The development of the 95XF was an important motivation for the American truck manufacturer Packard to take over the DAF. The 95XF appeared in three basic versions, the Comfort Cab, the Space Cab and the Super Space Cab, with six-cylinder diesel engine ranging from 380 to 530 horsepower. 1999 – Mercedes-Benz Atego The first generation Atego debuted in 1998. It was intended as a successor to the LK model range. At the time of its launch, the Atego offered a total of 25 different basic types and 240 model variants. Around 170,000 units were produced until 2004. In 2000, a new 326 horsepower top-of-the-range version of the heavy Atego chassis was brought onto the market with big success. 2000 – Volvo FH In 2000, the Volvo FH was awarded the International Truck of the Year Award for the second time. One of the reasons was due to the new D12C engine, which had been redesigned for increased performance, decreased fuel consumption, extended service life, and superior environmental characteristics. The D12C engine was prepared for forthcoming environmental legislation and was well in advance ready for the demanding Euro 3 demands, introduced in 2001. This is how the awards have been distributed throughout the first 23 years, making Volvo the most winning brand so far. But a lot can happen in the next 22 years. If you want to see the next 22 years of winners of the prestigious International Truck of the Year Award, click here and see who is the most winning brand of all time.